I'm just gonna quick go over some uh, a build that I use for Cassia. The first talent I usually go with is Thunderstroke. It's a little quest that gives you each time you hit it, a hero um, with the Lightning Fury. It gives you a reward after hitting 20 heroes. You get uh, it increases your damage by 75. After hitting 40 heroes with Lightning Fury, it gains a, a second charge. And its mana cost is reduced from 30 to 15. Um, this one is really up for uh, debate. You can go with Ring of Leech. Of the Leech, you know, when you damage blind heroes, it heals you. Or you, can, uh, you also go with a Plate of the Whale's Quest. Um, where it gives you, you allows you to regenerate five health per second while avoidance is active, and then um, for every basic attack absorbed with av avoidance, it regenerates an additional f one health per second. So it it helps when you this is leveled up fully. Now my goal with Cassia is to increase impale as much as I can or fiend. Um, so, an even, uh, talent that increases Fiend is what, is what my goal is to get. So, Impale is the next one I'm going to go with. Increases, uh, Fiend damage. Then, I also like to go with Ball Lightning. Uh, it throws a, a ball of lightning at an enemy hero, and it bounces up to six times between nearby enemy heroes and Cassia, dealing 649 damage to enemies hit. Um, then I'm also going to go with Launching Strike, which increases the Fend area dura and duration. Um, we're gonna also going to go with Penetrate. Consecutive Fiend hits deal increased damage by 3%. Excellent. And then we're going to go with in Infinite Lightning. Ball of Lightning can now bounce indefinitely, and its cooldown is reduced by 4 seconds. So oh, let's oh, go so and check this out. Later on, I'll also put some uh, videos out there, uh, some gameplay of Cassia. First blood. Excellent. And when you're hitting, you also want to use lightning on your buildings because it spreads. Now, as far as our attacks go, I'll show you that in a second. With vigilance. And with avoidance, you want to keep moving around because that's how you're going to activate avoidance. A killing blow. You have been <laughs> now here's what we're going to do with Arthas here. We're going to first get blind and do, and then your E move. Your fiend. Well, that was rather entertaining. And we'll go over it a few more times. So, that should teach them a lesson. We'll let them come back here, and I'll show you the the rotation, the full rotation. So you want to go with your Q first. Then you want to blind him, R, and E. As you can see, that sequence is pretty much OP. Now, when your R is not up, you still want to go with the same kind of uh, rotation there. So you're gonna go your Q, your W, then your E. Then you can do your Q again. Also, you're gonna want to use your Q for buildings, because, like I said earlier. It, it once you hit a building, it'll spread, or it kind of does a little T move, like like that. Now, obviously, this is just uh, a trial, so it's not you know it's not a real life gameplay. So I mean, during gameplay, it's gonna differ. But I'll show you some gameplay of Cassia later.
And uh, also, avoidance isn't doing its maximum healing because the quest requires you to get hit by basic attacks while you're in avoidance. Okay, so here we go again. Here's a route, the full rotation. See, uh, we've literally had eight kills and almost fifty thousand in hero damage. Also, another good thing about Fiend is it's an area effect, so any heroes or mobs caught in that area will also get hit with Fiend. Good riddance. As you can see, Cassia is a pretty Damn. dangerous hero. The only downfall is her. She's even though she's a ranged, she uh, her basic attack you have to get up really close as far as Fiend goes. So if you have a group of uh, heroes and you do Fiend, you're also going to be stuck there with them. Obviously, there are other builds you can try with her. Um, I haven't really tried her other heroic move, the Valkyria, but I'll I'll do another video on that and see how it goes. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please list them below. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it the thumbs up.